normal decomposition of metal nitrates so the same way you have to learn if you have potassium nitrate sodium calcium magnesium aluminium zinc iron lead copper mercury silver gold and platinum so if you have nitrates of these compounds potassium and sodium nitrate if we supply heat energy the result it will decompose into metal metal nitrite plus So if we supply heat energy to metal nitrate, so it will decompose into metal nitrite plus oxygen. But if we supply heat energy to calcium, magnesium nitrate, calcium nitrate, uh, zinc nitrate, aluminium nitrate. So this will result in a formation of or it will decompose to metal oxide plus nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen. And the last one, if you have mercury, silver, gold or platinum nitrates, this will decompose into metal plus nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen so these are the products for decomposition Of, so if we have potassium nitrate, potassium nitrate is KNO3. When we supply heat energy to this potassium nitrate, this potassium nitrate will decompose into potassium nitrite. Potassium nitrite means KNO2. Plus
nitri potassium nitride plus oxygen and the equation it will be balance so when two potassium nitrate molecules are there they will give two potassium nitride and they will give oxygen same thing if we heat sodium nitrate it will decompose into sodium nitrite plus when we supply heat energy to calcium nitrate it will produce metal oxide so if we, if it's a calcium nitrate and we supply heat energy it will produce metal oxide means calcium oxide plus nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen and to balance this equation we put two before calcium and two before nitrogen dioxide this uh, not to this four because this is total nitrogen of it. Same way if I heat copper nitrate, the copper nitrate will decompose into copper oxide plus nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen. So this is the balance equation. And if mercury nitrate or silver nitrate is there, when we supply heat energy, they will give metal plus nitrogen dioxide plus oxygen. So if we have silver nitrate, say AgNO3, And when we supply heat energy, it will form metal, which is silver, nitrogen dioxide, which is NO2, and oxygen and so Now, whenever a nitrogen dioxide gas is given off, it is brown in color. So whenever you will decompose nitrate from calcium to copper or mercury silver, what you will observe, you will observe a brown gas. So this nitrogen dioxide is a brown gas. So the decomposition, if they ask what is the observation, so you will mention a brown gases given on. Not bubbles, you cannot mention specifically bubbles. Why you cannot mention bubbles? Because it's a thermal decomposition of a solid. So originally you have a solid and you supply heat energy to a solid. So when you supply heat to a solid, the solid is decomposing by the action of the heat. So when the solid will decompose by action of heat, what you will observe? You will observe a brown gases released but you cannot mention bubbles bubbles when a gas is produced in the solution
I've finished writing this. Okay, we'll do a question related to salt and identification. Uh, 